Hi everyone, today we'll be working on question 250 on LeetCode called count new value subtrees. Uh, idea of the question is we want to find all subtrees inside a binary tree such that every single value inside the subtree is of the same value. So for example, in this one we have 5 over here, so that's 1, 5 over here that's 2, 5 over here that's 3, 5 and 5, so that's 4. But we notice that this top five is not a unified subtree because we have to include the one because it's a child of this top root over here. So we should return four over here. Okay, so let's start working. Uh, probably want to do a DFS down a path. And if that subtree is uh, a unified subtree, then we just add it to our count. So let's do count zero. DFS node, a standard DFS function. We say if is unival node, and we also pass the node.val to compare it to every other node inside that path. One, two, if you need count, let's do the same thing for every other node. One, two, count. Cool. So now for our is unival function, we take the node and the value. First off, if there is no node, we always return true. It's an edge case. Next, if it's a leaf, so if there's no left and no right, and the node's value matches the past in value, we want to return true. And finally, let's talk about the uh, last edge case where we just check the left and right subtrees recursively. So return node eval equals value and the uh, left and right subtrees. So it is the eval node left is the value and the eval node right is the value. And DFS, so DFS root. Let's see if it works. So, works just fine. Let's run it. Cool, works just fine. So, let's go through this code one more time. Uh, okay, so we're going to do a standard DFS to visit every single node inside the tree. Um, for every single node, we're going to uh, pass in this function called isUniVal. isUniVal is going to check three conditions, if it's a null value, if it's a leaf and the value matches, or if the value matches and the left subtree and the right subtree recursively also match. So in any of these cases, if these are true, then we increment the count. So let's submit it. Yep, works just fine. Since we're doing a standard DFS, so the runtime of this is pretty straightforward. This is just O of n. Since we're visiting every node at most once, where n is the number of nodes in our time. And that's about it. So that's uh, just about runs up for this question. I'll be adding a link to the question as well as my GitHub down below. I'll see you guys next time.